Greetings and salutations to you all my good chums. My name is Richard, this is Gentlemanly Gaming and welcome back to Grand Strategy Sunday and Crusader Kings 2 in real life. Last time on the show, well, big, biggest news that we have I think. You can see it on the screen right there. The Black Death is upon us. It has reached, it has spawned into the world. It has reached over to our capital. It is in our lands right now. This isn't going to be a quick wash over and move on. It's going to make its way all the way over to here. It's going to stick around for quite a long time before it starts to burn itself out. It is going to decimate and demolish populations. And as I said last time, could quite easily be the ending of this run right here our dynasty is not as heavy with males as it used to be we might not have many people left uh i wanted to check quickly the line of succession here it is there are three people left who can inherit our lands before the game is done and i'm pretty sure after that we're toast and we are a sickly child. We're not we're not great. We had consumption. We weren't good at it. We're a child. This guy is next in line. He is a, a powerful vassal. I actually need to put him on the council in a minute. I didn't realise he had come of age. Then we have this man here who is not great again. He's in pretty bad shape. Not health wise, but not a great leader. And then we have this man who seems to be pretty good. And then that's it. That is it. Four males. Could four males get wiped out during the Black Death? Very easily. Very easily that could happen. This could very well be the last episode and the last chapter in the Abd al Qais story. But that is something we're going to have to find out today. Also, last time Hafiz died. Yes, Emir Hafiz died. And that is why we are playing as a Emir Bahanadin the Child at the moment. Uh, and that is why we only have four in the line of succession right now. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. So stick with me for what might possibly be the last chapter in this series. We've lost one person already, the Spy Master. He died. Um, I'm assuming from the pox, let's see, great pox, okay, so it wasn't, it wasn't from the Black Death, it, w it was the great pox that he died from, okay, so the Black Death hasn't claimed its first victim, and it probably has claimed, like, its first and many more victims in our realm already, but the first one of note, uh, who are you, you are in prison right now, where? Okay, so the Shah, uh, are you, no, you're in Hispania. Okay, so you've inherited this, but you're in prison, so you're not a powerful vassal at the moment, so we don't need to put you onto the council. But yeah, we don't have a spy master now, so, again, looking for someone with similar traits because you're the guy that's putting them on the council right now. Um, any scholarly theologians? No. No theologians, scholarly, other or otherwise. Uh, oh, zealous. Okay, so you've become zealous. So you might want someone who's slightly religious on your side. Oh, you're an architect. That's the first architect we've had. Okay, that's the first time that's actually come up. Um, you're not going to want him because he has sympathy for other religions. That is not what a zealous does. Yeah, cannot tolerate her heretics, infidels or heathens. So you definitely don't want him on the council. Um... Temperate is the only one you have in common. 
So probably. Hmm, maybe this guy. So he's humble, trusting, and gregarious, which means he's going to be kind of charismatic, isn't he? I don't see anyone else. All chased. Oh, that might be. Yeah, that's a good one, actually, isn't it? Maybe this guy. It's either going to be this guy because he's kind of. He's humble, gregarious, kind of easy to get along with. This guy is chaste. I'm going to go with. Which one? Minus three. Plus three. Yeah, okay. We're going to go with this guy then. He's going to be the new spy master. Uh, no one's really doing anything at the moment anyway, so whatever. It makes no difference. Everyone's just going to be locked and secluded away pretty much. So, yeah. Um, I might as well pick jobs for them once they come back out, dependent on their skills and abilities. Did I... Did I get this back? No. No, it went to you as well. Okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, okay. So that's that sorted out. Uh, another new powerful vassal if he ever gets released from prison. Persia has been ravaged by a plague. The trade routes of the east have become less travelled as reports of the plague spreading in the Persian expanse have increased in frequency. Entire villages are gone from the world of the living, disregarding the wealth and good harvests the area was enjoying. The reality is stark as death continues to spread and despair paves the roads. When will it end indeed? So there's quite a while that it's going to stick around for yet. Okay, I've inherited something, but I need to get rid of that because that's just a city. But yeah, there's going to be a while where it... Uh, it's going to be hanging around for quite a bit, yeah. It, it needs to travel quite far. Yeah, it hasn't even hit Europe yet. So, there's still plenty of time for it to do its damage uh, quite yet. So, that's uh, still, still scary. Oh, Caliph Abdul has died. That's another Caliph gone in such a short amount of time. Caliph Isa is in charge. He is merely a ch one years old. One, he is a child. Uh, I'm pretty meh about him, but yeah. How is a kid going to be able to protect us? Also, did that revolt finish? Did anyone break away? I don't know. Yeah, so this kingdom is now gone. This is an independent... No, oh, it's not. I thought it had... Uh... Did anyone break away? No. No. What was that revolt for then? Was it for increased power, I guess? Or is it still around? The Burma Kid revolt. Yeah, maybe it was just for increased council power, maybe? I'm not sure, but... Uh, okay, well, another new Caliph. Now, I'm assuming you probably died of the dreaded plague. Yeah, there you go. First big victim claimed by the plague in this run. That's the um, that's the first one that we know of that died of the plague uh, in a big yeah. See, so health minus seven. It hits hard. It hits really hard. But there you go. That's the first big uh, victim that we know of. Middle East has been ravaged by plague. An ominous shadow looms over the region of the Middle East as the plague has left little but tragedy in its wake. The reports are scarce, but upon hearing the tales of lone refugees walking the roads, often the sole survivor of a family, the hearts of many are torn as to why Allah would allow this to happen. Um, and yeah, I think if we get down onto the ground, I've just noticed... Yes... Uh, it's not looking great. We are looking at big burial pits. It's um, 
significant depopulation. It's uh, it's 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 hitting us hard. Yeah, we've um, started to see the 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 bad little things. I I uh, there'll be one more to come yet, but he hasn't quite reached us yet. And also, our capital is still okay at the moment. It's just uh, it's in still in prospering it hasn't quite fallen off of the ladder just yet but uh if we pan out and take a look there's quite a lot of tombstones all over the place and if we look the black death has hit europe it is in europe but there's no end in sight just yet for us so yeah still just trying to hold on trying to cling on and hope that those are we still at four four members of our dynasty can hang on we haven't lost one yet so at the moment we're still okay we're still all right india is ravaged by the plague the plague has spread across india from the north river plains to the southernmost tip of kanyakumari well, the people sought refuge in the temples at first now they too lay deserted only corpses bowing before the gods Bodies bloated beyond recognition float down the Ganges. Yes, it's uh, it's getting bad. It's getting bad, but we're still nowhere near the end of it yet, unfortunately. But we do have a new um, vassal, Sheikh Merzda of Esfahan. He is a powerful vassal, so he does need to go onto our council. I don't know what he wants to do. Oh, Badir, Sheikh of Jeddah also needs to go on there. So both of them need to go on. Who wants to be my steward? Who wants to be the spy master? You want to be the spy master. You want to be the steward. Yep, that makes sense. And you want to be the spy master. There we go. Powerful members all on the council now. Uh, I don't think there are any more powerful vassals that we need to worry about right now everyone else is pretty much how they need to be so there you go those are all of our vassals on our council now they're all powerful they all need to be there so there we go loud complaints have become less frequent instead an unbearable stench is now coming from the other side of the wall it appears that a way of showing disapproval, commoners have started leaving all their dead in a big pile just outside the gates. Guards get rid of the smell. Leave them, we cannot afford infection. Uh, everyone's opinion goes down, so no, it's, it's going to have to be uh, get rid of the bodies, unfortunately, which is probably not going to be great. It's probably going to introduce it into our household, but... Uh, it uh it needed to happen unfortunately because again i'm not in charge oh counselor just died so he's died again the the this this esfahan is is going through it it's it's getting ravaged yeah he's not the spy master anymore so we need to find another new spy master uh who is that you're the new man you have to become the spy master so you're not great but well done there we go and another one this is gonna happen quite a lot uh sheep badda of jeddah died he's not one of the uh in line is it can you please stop i just want to get to this thank you no but we have a new member okay so we have a new line <laughs> that's good we have an extra member that keeps us a little bit safer at least but yeah, now we need a new steward. It has to be the powerful one. It's going to be you. There you are. Well done. No one's doing anything at the moment anyway. But there we are. A uh, quick check-in. Uh, it has now reached northern France and southern and western Iberia. Still no sign of it. Oh, it has. It has started to stop. Okay, there might be there might be help on the horizon, which is strange. I don't think it's got as bad as it could do yet. Is uh Yeah, it doesn't seem to be that bad yet. 
but it, we are now burning bodies in the capital as well. So that's now happening. But uh, a certain someone hasn't appeared yet. So I didn't think it has gotten that bad yet. It's already started burning out, but it doesn't seem to be hitting us that hard. We might actually survive this. Uh, there he is. He has shown up. There he is. Death himself. The Grim Reaper walks among our people. He is in our lands, so it has got quite bad. How's the capital doing? Uh, recovering, it seems. Seems to be doing a little bit better. Okay, I think we're going to come out of this all right. The, uh, the Grim Reaper doesn't seem to have touched us where we are. Okay then, fair enough. I think we're going to be all right. I think we're going to be all right. And there we go. It's out of the capital. It is out of the capital. Uh, we do need to another... See, my vassals suffered way worse than I did. I, I, I'm pretty sure we're we're going to be fine now. I'm, I think that we're going to be all good. We seem to be in pretty good shape to be honest with you uh we didn't lose one single person from our lineage in fact we gained one so we look like we're going to be okay to be honest with you i don't i really don't think it's going to be a problem now so we are out of the the plague in the capital it is dying down it really didn't last very long six years something like that i think it really didn't last very long at all i thought it was going to last a lot longer than that but uh yeah, we seem to be all right. My mother died, though. My mum died. But she died away from me. She, um... Yeah, she was in the court of someone else. She refused to come home. She never... She never came back again. Rest in peace, mum. Rest in peace. Here we go. I think it's going to release its last hold on our realm. There you go. There you go. It's gone. It has left our realm. It is now just burning its way through Europe now. But yeah, it has left us relatively unscathed. That was rather anticlimactic, to be honest with you. I thought that that was going to be a lot closer than it was. But yeah, like I said, it barely had any impact on us whatsoever. The worst of it was taken by our vassals. Uh, like, Esfahan kept losing dozens of people. It, it was... Yeah, it, it barely touched us at all. It, it, we didn't really have any troubles. Like I said, two. Our, our, our dynasty grew by two during the the uh, pandemic i um i genuinely thought that was going to be a really big threat it turned out to be really nothing in the end and very anticlimactic i apologize that was uh yeah that that that, that didn't really matter at all in the, in the long run did it yeah. I was hoping to keep coming back, like, oh, we're down to two. Oh, we're down to our last member. Can we... But no, nothing. That was easy. We survived the Black Death with ease. So that's another hurdle cleared. The Mongols, no threat. Aztecs, no threat. Black Death, no threat. We have just kind of been chilling here the whole game. We, I mean, we, we've, we've lost our bits of our realm from threats all around us but not really any trouble at all really was there so here's one thing i'm able to do i am able to uh yeah get this marriage this betrothal done again so this guy once again trying to get his family back into the contendership he married off his elder daughter to someone else the uh prince of yemen so he obviously had yeah a much better deal with regards to that but he's his youngest daughter yeah is uh she he's happy to get that 
proposal done so there you go so that's that's one more thing tied up now we need to um look for other alliances i'm, I'm gonna do that probably when i come of age and see where we're at then i think that that makes more sense i just lost a part of my realm again i just lost this part of my realm i lost esfahan and nobody told me that it was on the line the war goal was this area here this area here no one told me i could lose esfahan but it's gone So he just gave up. So yeah, he's not a vassal of mine anymore. Which means that I have one less powerful vassal now. Which means I kind of have a free pick. But I don't have a free pick, but you know what I mean. But yeah, no one told me again that this was going to be on the line. So we've just become smaller again. I mean, it was not like we were ever going to get Esfahan back, but... <sighs> I just wish that it would tell me when my stuff's on the line, and the war targets seem to be changing all the time. There was this Abbasid war for this place here, but then they took this place. And then there was this war for this, these, two, these three areas here, but then this was the only one they took. And then again, there was just a war for these three areas here. But they took this one. What is going on with the wars at the moment and the war targets? I don't get what is happening with the 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 the, the declaration of wars and, and the actual things that they're winning in the end. It's making no sense to me, to be honest with you. I don't get what is happening there. After all of the bloody black death and everything, sharp pains in your abdomen cause you to clutch your stomach, so I'm going to have abdominal pain. All that bloody stuff that happened... Um, also, did I... Open the gates? No, so... Everyone else is out of... Seclusion now, right? Yeah, okay, so I actually... I need to open the gates as well. Um, so let's get that done first and foremost. Open the gates. Right, uh, yeah. Survive the Black Death, but I'm going to have abdominal pains now. What's going on here? There's nothing going on here. So it's not an illness. This is actually within me. I've been a pretty sickly kid. Uh, I have syphilis. How? Oh, I am a 13-year-old boy. Okay. Oh, maybe... And this is his daughter. She's only four. Let's hope that's not the case then. Uh, I have syphilis. To remedy your ab abdominal pain, Sheik Alim rubbed a strangely scented oil on your stomach and told you to repeat the procedure every morning. Not sure that did anything. So I'm probably going to have syphilis forever now, right? I, I don't think that that's ever gonna go away a queasy feeling overcomes you and you immediately urge to vomit so i start vomiting i have the flu now it's not syphilis anymore uh he kept me up late for days stargazing telling me to reconnect with the moon that didn't do anything of course it didn't because that's ridiculous uh oh i'm gonna have diarrhea uh he still says i have flu I sprint around to keep you sweating. You didn't do anything. I am fastly becoming very ill. I don't know whether this is going to heal or not. But apparently it can. Uh, we can seek treatment for our illness. So try that again. He insisted that you follow his instructions. Uh... He rubbed the stomach for a better part of an hour and that made me feel better. Okay, so I felt better after he rubbed my tummy. Uh, I am now uh, in bed with the flu. Okay. 
So 65% I suffer a normal illness, 20% I suffer a mild illness, 10% severe, 5% I become bedridden. So, uh, what did I get? It's just nothing yet. Uh, has come to see you and offers a treatment of your illness. He explains that there are several different types of treatment he can offer. Uh, okay, I'm scared... But he's my regent and the court physician, so he's what is in him? He's zealous, proud, he's scared, and temperate as well. Um He'll perform some well tested treatment. This is a chance that the treatment has negative effects. The risk of this treatment will vary depending on his capabilities. Uh, Sheik Alam will make you more comfortable in your current state. This treatment will have a very small chance of going badly, but the positive effects will not have as much impact. Um, I prefer to be left alone, but that's not a choice that, that I have, unfortunately. He's more likely to just do something because he's scared as well. So I think he's more likely to do only what is necessary. Relax your breathing, Sheik Alim instructed you. The feather in his hand looked almost ethereal as he began to gently brush you under your nose. Evil be gone, he urged as the sneezing began. I feel better, I think. Okay, so he made me sneeze and I feel a little bit better. Okay, so we might not die just yet. Um, hopefully, it'll be... It'll, Really suck to survive the Black Death and then die of flu, wouldn't it? Oh, you are very excited to be going on your first hunting trip. Should I be doing that when I'm laid up in bed with flu? Also, I've had the flu for a very long time. Uh, a skilled hunter will be taking you under his wing and teaching you how to hunt and survive in the wilds. The next couple of days will be one big adventure. Why is that hunter so nervous? I think my heir is about to try and kill me, isn't he? I think you're going to try and kill me. Let's see. As the hunter's behaviour becomes increasingly nervous and erratic, you decide to confront him about it. Weeping, he admits to having been paid a handsome sum to kill you during the hunt and make it look like an accident there you go and you say you never saw the face of your employer I know exactly who it was there's only one person that stands to benefit from my death I know who it was but there's nothing I can do about it because I can't prove it I mean Emir uh, Burahandin doesn't necessarily know it but I know it because I know how this goes. I mean, he's slow, so he's probably unable to put two and two together, to be honest with you, but never mind. Uh, and I've recovered from the flu. Well, that's good, but now I know that someone's trying to kill me. That's not so good. Right, so here you go. Here, here is an example. So there, there is a Buddhist uprising. Um, they are contesting the emirate of this, yeah? Does this come under that emirate? I don't. Uh, I. It, I don't think it does because if you look when you select it, it says these two uh, states here. These are the two counties that they are declaring for. My county borders them, however. So I bet you, when this piece is out, I'm gonna lose this. Guarantee it. I just. For some reason, I just know that that's going to happen. So, one more time, they are declaring for these two counties here. My county borders. Let's see what happens to it at the end. Okay, I've come of age. So, the regency has ended. I've finished my education in the ways of faith and learning. I find that I have some talent for it. I've become a scholarly theologian. Which is uh, good, because uh, I'm not particularly bright, apparently. So, but apparently I, yeah, uh, nothing came of it. I'm a scholarly theologian who is slow and 
scared all the time. Okay. So, yeah, not much fantastic about me, to be honest with you. I'm a pretty, for all intents and purposes, uh, dull blank slate. So, yeah, not, not really much going on up the top there. Uh, need to choose a focus. I'm a scholarly theologian. So, I'm probably going to go... I could do either of these, couldn't I? Uh, you know what? We've done scholarship. We've never done theology before. I might wait and see, actually, if he's going to put me on his council. Because if the Caliph puts me on his council, then that might change what I want to do anyway. So I'm just going to put off for a moment both of those to see... Do I want to be on his council though? I'm not... No, let's go ahead now. I don't really know... Become a paragon of virtue is probably the only thing really, isn't it? So I'm not ambitious or anything. The only thing I am... Is... Theologian. Now... Also... This guy was my teacher. Is he part of any school? No. So he's not going to want me to join a school. But he is zealous. So that's probably rubbed off on me. Because I'm a scholarly theologian. So I'm probably slightly more religious than any leader we've had for a while. To be honest with you. So... I think... That yeah, we're going to go... Paragon of Virtue and Theology. I think that that's what we're going to do. My domain is now too big. Wonder why that dropped. Because maybe I want to. don't know lose I don't know why I lost that I'm not sure but I also probably want to embrace a school tradition revelation yeah that's the one I want to embrace I want to embrace that the Ashari school of theology holds that the Quran is eternal and exact that full comprehension of Allah is beyond human understanding and that moral truths can only be taught by means of revelation. The clergy of your realm have fully embraced this school, leading to a surge in religious further. So that gives me more piety, which is good. That's what I want. What is eating piety at the moment? Nothing. Okay, so I am gaining piety. I'm not losing any. That's good. Okay, so yeah, I've embraced that school. So that's fine. Um, that's going to obviously change some things that I'm going to want to do. So uh, I'm going to, yeah, uh, hunt apostates because that's definitely within the realms, I think, right now. Everyone else is pretty good with what they're doing right now. I have no minor titles to give out. Mm, laws. Okay, so this was something that I was thinking about previously, is reducing the centralization. Um, because I think that the council is going to want more yeah, they're going to want more power, more vassals rather than me. So they're going to want low centralization, not high centralization.
they haven't wanted to empower anything yet so there's nothing there's nothing I need to do there right now oh this is another one actually they're gonna wanna do what they wanna do aren't they uh, so the ictas the gentry tend to favor paying taxes over making troops available so they're gonna want that coming back in that direction and they're gonna wanna then they're, the burgers are gonna want this coming back in this direction as well and I think they're going to want low centralization because the thing is is that this guy remembers the war he was he was an adult when the war was fought so he remembers why the war was fought so he definitely knows what the council was all about so yeah I think He's going to want that. What's the council consideration? Everyone's going to vote for it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's that's definitely what we're going to do first. Um, or the obligations. I think maybe the obligations first, actually. Let this tidy itself up a little bit. Because I think that, that needs, the domain size needs to sort itself out a little bit first. So the burgers are, they're uh, mares basically, aren't they? So it's gonna be you guys first. You're gonna want that. Everyone's gonna vote for it, aren't they? Yeah, see, everyone wants that. So let's do that first. So they're, they're gonna want, they're gonna get that in place first. We're gonna sort out the obligations first. And then we're going to sort out the the centralization after that. Uh, no technology that needs doing at the moment. I'm not a very military-minded man, so that's fine. Right, decisions. Uh, invite a holy man to court. That's going to cost me piety. But it is something that I will do. So I'm going to invite this man to my court to begin with. Uh, I, I don't have a terrible opinion of him, so it's fine. So we'll invite him, but that's not something I'm going to put on this because it's just going to constantly remind me. And it's not something I want to constantly do. It's probably something I'm going to do um, every so often, like every few years or something like that. I'll invite another holy man to court. I want holy men within my, within my court. Um... Compose a book. I am scholarly. Not particularly bright, but I'm also part of a school. So I think that I'm going to want to do that. That's going to cost me gold, but I'm okay with that. I had an urge today to compose a book. When I suggest it to my council, they look at a mixture of confused and amused. Get me the scribes, I say, ignoring their bewilderment. Of course, my lord, and what shall this great treatise about? It's going to be something in honor of Allah. Of course, that's what we're going to do. Uh, okay, Hajj. Uh, that's definitely something I'm going to want to do as a religious person. We haven't done this for a while. So we are going to go on Hajj, and you know what that means. We need to change our hairstyle. We need to get rid of our hair and get rid of our beard. We need to be completely clean shaven. There we are. Boom. That's changed him. He now looks a little bit funny, but whatever. Uh, so that is something that we're going to do. We need to observe Ramadan when that comes about. We're going to give Sadiq for my sins. Uh, oh no, that's that's not what I wanted. I wanted Sadiq for my sins, didn't I? Yeah, not a smith. Sorry, it was uh, that one. We're going to give that for our sins. And I think... That's all we need to do now with regards to that. Uh, we could join a society, but the offer's not there yet because we're going to want to join a religious society if we want to join a society, not 
uh, any of the others. So there we go. That's um, that's the beginnings of our reign. The other thing that I was looking at is the spaces here. We might want to build a mosque in here. But I'm going to hold off on that for the time being and see if we get anything like um, Zealous or um, Building Traits or anything like that. Because I think that that will make the decision for us. Let us get some of those things out of the way quickly. Right, our domain is too big, so... Uh, let's get our travel to Mecca done. I am now fully prepared for my travel to Mecca. It will be urgent. Uh, there will be a regent ruling. Yes. So it's okay because you only need to go like two, two over, right? Yeah. Medina and Mecca. And then you're there. You're fine. So you really haven't got to go for very long at all. That's It's, uh, it's going to be fine. But our domain is too big. Uh, oh, no. We're back again. Oh, it's because of the regency, isn't it? He's better at it than I am. That's why it's higher when he's in charge. Uh, the Sunny Caliph Issa has heard of me giving uh, Sadaka for my sins and blesses me. So that gives me more piety, which is good. The journey through the desert is long and arduous under the scorching sun. Suddenly a large tea house materializes into thin air before your eyes. And the singing jinn who seem to own the establishment, beckons you inside. Strangely, your travelling companions do not take notice of this stunning event. Um, a mirage, my mind is playing tricks on me. Uh, last one inside burst the first round. 5% um, chance of gaining the trait uh, possessed. I'm scared, but I'm also dumb. But I know what a djinn is. Surely I must know what a jinn is if I'm a scholarly theologian. I know what that is. I know it's a mirage. Do I gain the trait depressed? No. Uh, okay, yep, and the Ikta balance has gone back the other way, so that's fine. As you stop for camp one evening, you notice that an old man in poor clothing has made camp at the same place. The man offers to tell you a hadith. He tell you a hadith. He has... If you can spare him some bread. Um, I'm not going to lose piety. So I'm happy to lose gold instead. The old man says as related by Al-Tir Madiha. I said O Prophet o Al of Allah. Will, will we be held accountable for what we say? He said may your mother be bereft of you. Is there anything that topples people on their faces into the hellfire. Other than the jests of their tongues. Alhamdulillah, I gained one diplomacy from that. That's uh, pretty good. That's probably going to help my... Oh, no, it's not a stewardship that's going to do that, isn't it? As you arrive in Mecca, you start preparing for the evening's prayer when you discover that the water in the well is not entirely pure. This would not be valid water to use for ablution. I gain more uh, piety for that. You are now at Kaaba itself and performing the Tawaf. Seven circuits, you will walk around the black stone and each time you complete a circuit, you point to the stone and say, in the name of Allah, Allah is great, Allah is great, Allah is great and praise be to Allah. Shout at every circuit, only shout the first three times. Craven would suggest... more humble than proud I gain 25 piety either way being scared but then I would know to do it seven times so no I think I would I think I would know so we're gonna go we did indeed gain proud damn that is not what I wanted to happen Performing the Sa'i involved running seven times between the hills of Safa and Marwa. This is done to remember the search for water by Ishmael's mother. Okay, I gain one of those. Uh, one, sorry, uh, got a bit confused there. 
I gained one something. I can't remember what it was now. Uh, health. That was it. One health. Uh, as you travel back home from Mecca, you encounter a very poor village where even the richest seem to starve. I must help them. I can't afford to help them. Uh, no, I'm happy to help them. That is fine. But yeah, I gained proud. Damn. I'm guessing that's going to hurt my piety now, is it? No? No, it doesn't hurt my piety. Okay, I would have thought uh, a sin would have hurt my piety a little bit there. But uh, we've lost... A steward. So, any powerful vassals? Yep, you need to come in. That's fine. Is everyone... Who's... are you? What are you best at? Well, diplomacy, but that's not happening. So, martial... Or intrigue. Okay, and what are you good at? Hmm... Pretty poor across the board. Are you better at anything, Marshall? You can't be changed, can you? Okay, everyone is pretty... So you're three. You're four. You're seven. Okay, so I can swap you two around. But are you good at intrigue? Nine. Four. Two. Yeah, okay, so just swap these two around. Um, so you become my new steward. Yep, those two swap around. That's better. Um, you're administering the realm because I'm not here right now. Uh, is there... You're powerful in your own right, so let's see what you want to do. Nothing. You're a flamboyant schemer, so that would suggest scheming then, wouldn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yep, okay, that's fine. So we got that position done and dusted. Uh, and I am back from Mecca, right? You're going to ask me to become a counsellor. Uh, what are you... Of spy master? Uh, I mean... Are you sure? I'm not sure you want to do that. I mean, I'll do it because I'm proud. But I'm not going to be very good at it. So, I mean... Good luck, I guess. I have returned to my court a changed man. I am truly humble before Allah, and I know that all men are equal and can live in harmony with each other. There is no God but Allah, and Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. So I have the regencies ended. That drops down to four again. Yeah, because I'm not good enough to do that. Okay, so I do need to give away something, unfortunately. Because this guy is still in charge and he knows why the war was fought and everything like that. But I am back from Hajj. So that's going to give me even more piety, which is good. That's the one thing we're trying to do. Um, I need to observe Ramadan. So I will do that. I've just got back, but I need to res uh, um, observe it, apparently. Uh, this can stop now, right? Uh, actually, who is in charge? You're powerful. So, you can do what you want to do, can't you? Yeah, you do what you want to do. Okay, and we need to give away a domain. Can't give away my capital. I think it's probably going to be Katif. Everywhere else gives me way too much. So yeah, I think I need to give Katif away, but who am I going to give it away to? I don't have any brothers. Or a friend. I could give it to you. Yeah, no one's going to care. Yeah. I'm going to give it to my friend. There we go. So, that has now come out of my possession. And my friend is now a vassal of mine. Uh, I don't think he's powerful, is he? But 
does he need to go on the council? Let's see if he gains any power. See, he should be. Uh, you have given generously to the poor during Ramadan and performed many good deeds. The urge to help those in need comes naturally to you. Okay, so I'm going to become charitable. You haven't gained power. I have now gained charitable. I'm not zealous, so I'm going to get you to perform charity. You can perform it in the capital here. That's fine. Um... Yeah, so I'm guessing he's not powerful, but he's more than you. Because you're, you're not a... Uh, you're nothing, are you? Yeah, you have nothing. So yeah, I'm going to bring him onto the council as my steward. I'm back. So I can administer the realm again so I am um, there's nothing I really need you to do though is there not at the moment no we're not constructing anything collecting taxes seems a little bit Research economy text, scholarly theologian. Yeah, I think let's get you to do that. And you can do that here with me in the capital. But there you go. So a new realm and a new era has begun. We need to get this guy married a couple more times as well because... Um, he knows his duty, he knows what needs to be done, and like I said, the council is still being run by the guy who remembers why we fought the war. So we need to do that, we need to sort out some marriages, but I think I'm going to do that next time, ladies and gentlemen. We survived the Black Death, and the series goes on. I am very, very surprised by that. I genuinely did not think that we were going to get through that, but we did. We are strong, we still need to carry on. And uh, even though our air is trying to kill us, we have plenty of males that can line up to take the reins, which is good. So the series continues, and I certainly hope that you join me for that next time. But until then, I bid you all adieu, a good day, and a massive GG to you all. This video has been a production of Rich King Entertainment. Para más shows geniales como este, no te olvides de dar clic en el link que aparece aquí para visitar todos los canales de YouTube. También puedes ver este video que sugerimos para ti. Muchas gracias, no te olvides de dar like y suscribirte para más contenido como este.